Hey everyone, and welcome back to MatCraft, a Minecraft Let's Play. I'm Fire Dragon for our Matt, and this is episode, what is this, 10 now? Or 9? 9. No, episode 9, of course. I'm just getting ahead of myself. So, I've been doing a little bit of work. Uh, it's still the same recording session as when I did uh, episode 8, but I've kind of done this branch mine thing. It's not an exact branch mine, uh, but it's, it's similar to one. And I've left all the uh, minerals down, so that's what we're going to be doing this episode. Uh, so far, from what I picked up, we got 21 iron and 6 gold, so... Uh, yeah, I put that there as well. Uh, so we have something just to store the ore. Uh, okay, so let's start going down. There's quite a lot of branches. This is quite extensive. If you remember, I ended uh, episode... Oh, there's some diamond over there. I won't scream. I forgot to tell you guys that I found some. Uh, yeah, this is quite extensive. It goes quite far way down. If you remember I started I ended episode eight with just having like these tunnels being made so we yeah, get even the tunnels connect as well so you can switch between. And I actually ran into a couple of low level lava cavern chasms caverns as well so we'll have to go check those out. And this is another diamond pick as well because my other one died so Oh I didn't know there was this much down here and I just mined downwards. Oh well. Whoa actually quite a lot of diamond there. Okay, that's all there is. I just wanted to check. Uh, do, 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 do. There we go. So yeah, it, it took me a little while. I was just listening to a podcast uh, while I was doing it, though, so I didn't really, you know, I just cracked on. Uh, just doing stuff with mining, I mean, because you guys know how it's done, I don't really want to bore you guys with it and doing it over and over and over again. Uh, and showing it like all of the mining stuff I do. Also, I'm probably not going to take the red dust right now because it just takes such a long time to break and I've already got quite a lot. Uh, I might clear it later. Gold, I haven't really explained because th this is actually the first time really we've ran into gold. Um, it's very weak and it's more of a decorative uh, ore than anything that like you can build gold armor and things. Um, it's not amazing, um, but the armor is actually not too bad. Uh, if you want to do something with the the gold ingots you make ingots you make from uh, putting it in a furnace, then I would probably suggest making armor from it uh, because then you're not wasting your other things. But if you've got a lot of iron uh, or a lot of things, oh god, oh god, there's a skeleton. I just let's fight. You scared me to. How did he get in here? Oh, I know, maybe. We've got to be careful. There is a chasm over here somewhere. Ah, I got the cave noise! That scared me though, I jumped so much when I had the arrow. He could have got in from here. Uh, but nowhere is really dark, I kind of lit everywhere up pretty well. I mean, it's dim, I suppose. Uh, that scared me so much. I, I suppose you could have spawned here. But I mean, it's quite light, and I put some loads of torches down. Huh. And I, I don't think you can get through this way. Oh, I'll actually, this is another one I found. But kind of blocked it off. Unless he. No way, he couldn't have made it over there. I'm actually a little confused, so. These aren't really dark, I suppose it was just a chance spawning, because they are a little dim, some of these. Okay, let's go back and make some torches, so. God! It's almost as scary as, like, playing uh, Dead Space for the first time. But even Metro 2033, which I'm playing at the moment, uh, scared me. Oh, I have coal with me. What, why did I came all the way back here? Oh, I'm actually just going to leave uh, the diamond in here as well, just because uh, I don't really want to... Uh, lose it. Yeah, I can just make it in here. Okay, 24. And I'm gonna leave those in here. Put that in there. Put those in there. Then they're all stored in there in case I die or something. Uh, doo -doo -doo. So yeah, we should really go back to where we were on the other side. Just, uh, Mr. Skeleton scared me, but uh, at least you guys got to see the bow and arrow in action. 
pretty glad I started recording when that happened. That was pretty exciting. Uh, yeah, I'm breaking the rules about digging down a little bit here, but uh, I'm just doing it because I kind of know what's going to be there because of the level we're at, and I've kind of dug around and checked where we are and stuff. Again, I'm going to leave a lot of that uh, redstone stuff. I mean, didn't find too much uh, ore down here doing this, but it was kind of useful. Oops, I placed it back down. But, I mean, it was kind of useful. Also, if you guys notice my mouse scrolling through these things really weirdly, it's because the mouse wheel's like pretty much broken, which is why I bought. I think I talked about it in the last episode. It's only been like an hour, well, not even an hour since I did recorded it, but uh, yeah. Yeah, I uh, I think I explained about how I'm getting razor products on uh, Monday. Uh, it's because I'm I'm so used to Logitech, and I had a MX1000 break on me after like maybe two years or a year of use, and then this revolution's on the way out, which is nearly a year old as well. Um, but I mean, they get a lot of use out of them. But because I've used them for such a long time, I'm like, okay, I want to use something else for once. I just want to try something a little different. Uh, which you know, if I don't like razor, which I probably will, because I know a friend who has some razor stuff. So I've I've used razor stuff before, and I liked it. But if razor stuff doesn't have it as long as a lifespan as I want it to, I will probably switch back to Logitech. I expect a mouse really to last at least two years, really. Um, but I I suppose I do play games a lot, so I'm kind of you know high DPI and all that kind of stuff. I really like uh, that the Mamba. Razor member has like a DPI switch on it and stuff. That's cool. I'm probably like going way too nerdy for people, but uh, like uh, I was talking about when I first started recording these episodes, I I built a new desktop PC not long ago. I man, this thing is awesome. I can play like Crisis and Metro 2033 on high settings and everything. It's so nice. Um, although I have this urge to play. Uh, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic again. Oh, I'm out of... Oh well, I'm out of cobblestone, which is strange, but oh well. Um, so yeah, let's go back and get some cobblestone and place some of this ore back in... Oh, found more iron. Uh, put place some of this ore back in some of the uh, storage things. Thingy things, I guess it's still light out. Yeah. I am waited to make sure that I started this episode when it was morning, so then we've kind of got another day-night cycle going on. Because I did end it a little bit early um, in episode eight, so uh, put that in there. Just because of like the way it kind of naturally fell, um, and there was nothing else really to progress. I bet you guys have like noticed some things that have gone past that it usually happens. I like, I see it later, like. I think it was episode one or two, like, there's just some arrows laid on, like, a a thing, and I just completely ignored them. So let's uh, fill this back up. Okay. I think that is it. Right, so we're going to go through here, into the danger zone, so that we have got this. Now, if I can, I don't know if I'll have time because no, I haven't found any water down here, but I could run up there. Let's do it quick. Let's see if we can do it really quick now. now let's just block this up. I don't think mobs would come through there, but just in case. Let's see if we can do this super quick. Well, we're like nine minutes in, so by the time we get up there, it's probably going to be getting night time, but whew, this is going to be, uh, this is going to be close. One. One, that one, two, three, then one more piece of coal, put it in the other one, two pieces of coal, let's see, I don't know if we're going to be able to make it, I don't think that's going to be enough iron, is it, five pieces, I'm actually not sure I know how to make a bucket, so, that's what I'm trying to make right now. Uh, how to make a bucket, 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 I don't know. Um, let's see if we can do it with five. You guys are probably like, you can't do it with five! You need nine! 
That's a minecart, right? Yeah. Is it one more up? I bet it is, isn't it? Or is it up here? No. I bet it's there. Uh, let's just check it out. We still got burning. Let's put one in here. In here we need to do this quick. I don't see how a bucket is bigger than a minecart, but you know. You can't really sit in a bucket. Oh, that would be pretty funny. I suppose you could put it on your head. I've got seven pieces? Okay. Huh, that didn't work either. Huh, one second, guys. Uh, I'm just going to go on craft hub on the side here. Well, oh, it's only three. Um, and now it's getting really dark, so we're probably not going to be able to do this. Let's make uh, two buckets. No way can we do that now. Damn it. I don't think there's any water close by either. Alright. We might find some uh, while exploring caves down here, but unfortunately we're not going to be able to do that now because we would have been if I didn't forget how to make a bucket, but I did forget. So yeah, this is uh, one of the areas I found. I really don't want to destroy the lava because I want to make obsidian with it, which is what I wanted to go do then. Uh, but, oh well. Oops. Uh, ah, there we go. However, this, I'm actually going to break the source block just for now. So I can have a look. It's pretty dense. I'd like to find some uh, water down here. Look at all this coal though, this is insane. Insane amount of coal, let's see if we can dig through. Let's see if we get anywhere. Cool. Gravel, oh! I hear water as well. But this is creepy. There's gonna be mobs down here. I just thought I saw a Oh, something just scared me. Oh, something just fell into the lava, it made me jump. Mobs! Mobs? Please don't kill me. Okay, I had, I had water back this way, so... I'm just gonna light this place up like crazy. Like, I can hear it when I get to like, here. I'm just getting a little paranoid because we're now. This is basically one of our first complex, uh, cave complexes, but it's not a very big one. Uh, it's almost like an, just like an extension of an underwater, underwater, underground uh, lava bed or lava lake. So, jeez, I wish I had TNT now. Just blow all this gravel up. It's so annoying. It's my least favorite block in the game because it just spawns like in the most annoying places. Oh yeah, we're going to need some torches down. Um, my inventory is just going to be full of gravel and crap now. Where is that water? It sounds like it's over this way, but... Something keeps making a hissing sound, like with the lava. I'm just getting afraid that I'm going to get creeped up on by a skeleton or something. I don't seem to be able to find where this is. This is quite an interesting dig right now. Well, other than the gravel part of it. I need to get some more lights in here. I'm actually just going to block this off as well. Across there and down there. Yeah, just so I kind of got a little bit of a an unparanoid area. Well, actually, this game just makes you paranoid in general, so don't be unparanoid in this game. It's strange telling someone to not be 
to be paranoid, but really that's what Minecraft's about. Be paranoid, no. But you gotta really watch your back all the time. There's no one there gonna be doing it for you, so. Okay, well, it looks like I haven't found anything interesting, really. More like wasted, uh, a little while. Let's see, what? Nearly ten minutes or five minutes just doing this? Oh, we found something. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Okay, so there is some water, like, through one of these walls here. Well, there's definitely lava, so if we can keep it at a certain level, we might not... Oh, no. We need to go higher. Yeah, let's just fill this back in, actually. Let's try a little higher up. We know that there's some sort of, like, complex... Uh, aha! And here it is. It's... Oh, jeez, no, don't push me towards it! It's in the middle of two uh, lava lakes is a water source. So let's get our buckets. This has already made some obsidian, so I'll show you guys obsidian in a minute. Okay, uh, click. Ow, I only got one. Ah, scary cave noise. Okay, so let's put those away. And let's uh, start knocking away at this obsidian. It takes such a long time to break. Oh, I actually don't know if. Actually, let's just test something. Uh, is there lava under it? There is not lava under it. I forgot to check that before I started hitting it. Because you don't want the obsidian blocks to fall into the lava, so. Look how long they take to break. It is a little ridiculous. Oh, jeez, finally. More mining of obsidian. Okay, let me uh, speed this up a little bit for you guys. Uh, I'll cut it out and then carry on in a minute. Okay, guys, I'm back. So I've got four blocks of obsidian so far. But the episode's getting pretty close to the end, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, get all this obsidian collected, and then I will see you guys in episode uh, 10. So uh, I'll see you guys then. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.